People call me the albatross because when I started the gym, I was doing a chest flies and my mate just said, your wingspan was massive. So he said, oh, we can call you the albatross. I didn't know what one was. And I looked it up and it was a big massive a seagull with the biggest wingspan in the world. So it's kind of stuck since and that's what I'm known now. I love going outside and playing with the, well I call them my toys, you know, because lifting logs, lifting cars, lifting stones, I mean, that's so much cooler, I think, than lifting just barbells and dumbbells, so training for me is the funnest and the best part about it, 100%. I went and quit my job in December just out the blue and kind of like this is what I want to do and it's paid off big time with the results I'm getting. It's my passion, it's my life and it's uh, something that I want to just keep doing till I die. These are like boats, size 17s. Three holidays if you swim in these. Ever since I kind of started this was to be world's strongest man. I mean, if you're in a sport and you don't want to be the best, there's no point doing it. Like the people that want to be like the fastest man in the world, world strongest man, I just think it's above all them, you know? Strength, I think, is just like wipes out everything. Being the strongest man in the world is just that title that everybody kind of should want, you know? <laughs> I hate the title. My favourite event, well, I think a lot of people know this, is Stones. I just love training them, I love the buzz you get. I don't get a buzz at that in any other event. I can't really explain it, it's just, uh, it doesn't feel real. It's, but stones are 100% my favorite event. Woo! That felt easy. Size of that. <laughs> the 239's out to play. This is gonna be my first time lifting this. This will be a massive PB, massive. 239, let's do this. Coming for you. I wasn't going home without getting out there. Felt really good. Gives me confidence. So, uh, come your rips. 200 is going to be easy. I went into Britain's strongest man this year, like wanting to place high. Top five would have been good for me because of that lineup. But then I just got really, really hyped up and was like, right, I'm just going to do what I'm doing in training. Bam, 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 bang. And then to get that time to make me go on podium was special, like really special. That stone run that kind of made it kind of icing on the cake. If you have your mind on the gym 24 seven, it's not a good mental state to have. I don't think about the gym until like 10 minutes before I'm going, then I switch on, but as soon as I'm out the gym, I switch off. They're good to have when you're in the house by yourself, you know? It's just like kids, you know, you play around with them all the time, you take them walks, you talk to them, so they're good to have, you know, really good. I've kind of just started believing myself in the last year or two. My main goals are just to keep the Scottish Strongest Man title for the next 10 years. Win Britain's Strongest Man and win Worlds. But I don't want to just win it once. If, if I'm fit enough, be a multiple champion. So this is uh, my pre-workout meal. 150 grams of oats, two scoops of whey protein. And then the secret one is 70 grams of jam. My favourite, strawberry jam, only strawberry jam. Just gives me fast acting carbs, keeps me energised and just keeps me full for the whole session. It tastes better than it looks. I enjoy it, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm autistic, you know, so autism is not an illness you can see. If this was two years ago, there would never in a million years that I'd be talking to this. Strongman has changed my life just because obviously you have to be more independent. You have to travel places by yourself. You have to talk to the TV. You don't have a choice. You have to do it. The first few times I was like, well, you know, I've never done this before. Like, you just get used to it, used to it, used to it. And like, it's changed my life mentally. It's made me the best person I've ever been and physically as well, but I love it and it's changed my life big time. The mental side, well, that's the thing that I struggled with a million percent. If I said I couldn't lift something, I wouldn't lift it. 
I took the time away from the sport, got my mental state really strong, you know. I'm mentally probably the strongest I've ever been and I feel like mentally I can do anything now. I'm just confident in myself. I'm not cocky. I'm always humble, but I know that like what I'm going to achieve, I know when I'm going to achieve it now. So yeah, I feel good. If a good session, my mood for the rest of the day will be great. If I have a bad session, then just don't get in my way because it'll be bad. <laughs> All this is just the stuff else for me. I mean, as soon as I do it, I get stronger, so don't change what's not broken. <laughs> few weeks I've been big and yeah I feel fit I feel healthy and strong so it just comes down to the day but yeah I feel good and ready I just need to get my body recovered fully and smash it on the day this is my first European like strongest man now I'm this strong it'll be good to see what I can do against these kind of guys I'm just going there to kind of prove like that I deserve to be there and that I'm going to be like the best in the world one day <laughs> Obviously I'm nervous, you're not human if you're not nervous, but I get adrenaline rush now. When I'm walking out, I'm nervous, but as soon as I'm out there and get the crowd behind me, it's playtime now. <laughs> I hit a 190 log in KPB, so it still got me quite a lot of points because a lot of people didn't perform as well as I thought it but yeah, a 190 log I'm happy with. This event deadlift 350 kg. I had a target of six to eight, hit six, and was happy with six. And the again would get me decent points and was it round in the mix then. <laughs> Third event tire into chain drag. The tire felt easy, the chain felt good. I was still really pleased with the time, you know, much better than I thought I would do in that event. <laughs> That's my first ever time doing a Hercules hold and it was just one of them events that didn't go you know, well for me in the day and my mentality's better now and I kind of just put it to the back of my mind and got on with it. The crowd drives you on as soon as the first stone goes up, especially because it was me and Luke as well, the brothers, so we both had the energy. I was confident, I could have one motion to 200, but I just wanted a good time. This is my first time doing Europe Strong with Man, and like, I didn't really want people to think Britain was a fluke, you know. I wanted to come in here and be the highest place in Britain, and I achieved that today. I thought maybe like I'd be fighting for fifth, sixth place, not fighting for a place on the podium, but fourth place, I'm really, really happy with. I think strong men in Scotland haven't had much recognition to have me and Luke kind of pushing now the top guys in the world. It's just mental because we're just two boys from the Highlands and now we're kind of putting the whole of Scotland in the map. It's really special, really special. You need a unicorn. Well, I call myself the unicorn because Luke calls himself the lion. That's too manly a name for me, so I want to be a wee girly name and unicorn suits me very well, you know. They're pretty like me.